to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Yeah, and I like the explosive one. Uh, let's start the timer. Ba-ding. All right, TNT. Yeah. You have a buddy I, who's never been to the strip club before. You went with me two weeks ago. No. And, and he says to you. Hypothetically. Yes. Okay. He says to you, hey, can you. What should I be looking for? What do I need to know what about the strip? Looking no, for? what do I need to know about the strip club before I go? So, what do you tell someone who's never been to a strip club to give them like a warning about their first time? Because wow. if you just walk in, eyes know? wide, like a little little just of age schoolboy, you, you're in for a reckoning. Them girls will bleed you dry in there. Okay, so. Let's let's start off with like who who taught you the rules? Who was your who was your sensei? Just like sex, I learned on my own. <laughs> you just started going to the strip club when you turned eighteen, and you just like figured it out. Yeah, kinda. Okay, I'm okay. trying to think of anybody who I went with me kind of gave me like you know like the rules of the road. Yeah, but like the Ashtabula clubs were a little different than the Cleveland. They club. were a little yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yes. Um, but I feel like yeah, I feel like I just kind of figured it out myself. Okay. Kind of learn. Maybe I even asked the dancers when I was, because I was a younger kid, right? You like, even ask the dancers. I mean, that's I feel, adorable. I feel like I'm like I'm not sure how By this works, way. and she's like, "Oh, honey, it's okay. I'll take care of you oh, and rip you off." So, oh god, and she was like dollar signs, but not really. But it didn't, except for I was 18, so yeah, like, yeah, so I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But anyways, yeah. No, what about you? Somebody take you and teach you the ropes? So I used to go to. Okay, so this is this is going to sound really bad, <laughs> and this is really illuminating, but I don't mind being a little bit forthright on the channel so i used to play warhammer and magic the gathering yeah. yeah whatever talk your ish i was a high elf army i don't care um i would go to and i would go to a, a comic book shop that uh they sold cards and figurines and like comic books and stuff of that nature and there was like some older guys that would go there i think they were probably in their uh mid to late 20s okay one guy was definitely in his uh late 30s though okay the owner. and you were like an 18 year old kid at this time essentially or younger i was i was uh so this is when i was 15 years old oh wow and one day they were like hey we're gonna go to the strip club um tnt i think you, you can come with us because you're the coolest one out of these group out of the group of nerds that come in here <laughs> They didn't say nerds. That's what they meant. Though. Right, right, right. I've always just been like even keel, just chill. Yeah, yeah. Acted more adult, but I hung out with older people like Jonas. Yeah. Um. So, so when I was 15 years old, they took me to the I was not the person in this story, by the way, just no, to clear that up. No, you were not that person. No, <laughs> yeah. absolutely not. These guys, honestly, they could be brought up on charges at this point. Um, but <laughs> I remember in the car, they were just basically told me, look, you don't touch them unless they say it's okay to. If they tell you to stop, you stop. Um, the girl's going to come up to you. She's going to do her thing. You give her the dollar. You don't touch her unless she says it's okay. Yeah. Um, and basically just don't be an asshole. Right. Those are the rules they gave me, and it has helped me to this day with all of my business. Yeah, yeah. I guess, well, I guess, like, I guess, like, the one thing that people really need to know in my, in my book is – their whole job is to make you think they love you for a stri oh for strippers yeah like their job oh. is to make you think okay. that they love you yeah yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah. they want your money right yeah. you want so like the so i think the most important thing to know is no matter how much it seems true they do not like you okay so that that's another very important thing that you need to take take home with you too it's like these girls don't like you they like yeah, it's you. not that they don't like you as a person. Yeah. They are not. They're not trying to date you. Yeah. As much as like it seems like they are, like they may be up all on your all on your face, like oh hey cutie, like oh, ooh, yeah. aren't you sexy? <laughs> and when's the last time a guy has been called cute out in the wild? Never. Right. right. So if it's just happening here, just because you walked in the door and paid your fifteen dollar cover, that's I, never happened on the outside. Then it's a part of this experience. It's part of the. And it's it's part of the show, right? Yeah. It's it's as right. fake as the the veneer of Disney that they have at Disneyland. That ain't really Mickey Mouse in the suit. Yeah, right. That's exactly. Some dude. Right. Exactly. So That's it's like, not really a girl who likes you. It's if, just some thought who wants if money. If average looking women are not coming up to you and telling you that you're cute, beautiful women who are taking their clothes off telling you that you are cute, <laughs> 
It's like it's yeah. like when the yeah. it's like I don't understand how people get catfished online because it's like somebody sends you a photo, looks like a model. Hey, hey girl, you ain't never had attracted you in your life, and all of a sudden this <laughs> internet girl is like, "I love you, honey." Why are there so many busty singles in my area? Right, exactly, dude. They're it, always here. Yeah, and it's it's uh, That's and I think good. another another good rule of thumb for the strip club, yeah. is take well, obviously take your cash out before you get there, and don't yes. take and don't take any cash that you're not willing to spend, yes. because you will find yourself spending money if it's in your wallet. It, you might as well pretend it's gone before you get there, if you have the cash. They're going to get it from you. That's what they're there to do. They're going to get it. Yeah, and once you open it up, and you also don't put all your money in one place. Like, if, like, the first girl that comes and gives you attention that night, <laughs> don't spend all of the money you got for the night because then then uh, then, <laughs> then you're going to be SOL, man. It's very true. It's very – it's so true, man. So, I, yeah, I feel like, yeah, you're, you're doing more, like, uh, more of the, uh, like, rules for, like, Mind your manners, mind your money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not like Honest is how to not get kicked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is which is very important <laughs> yes, too. Yeah, yeah, but it's like I've I've went, dude. I went. I mean, I've been with friends before, and I don't know if they had not been at strip clubs before or what it is, but like they disappear for like an hour, and you see them. They come up from the basement area where all the dances are happening, and they're hitting the ATM, and they're going back down in the <sighs> thing, and I'm like. What are you doing? Yo. I'm like, I'm like, it's like you can help your buddy, but not if what what if he gets taken off into the abyss, he's on his own. He is on his own, and, and they're gonna try to they're gonna try to short you on dances. Yep, they're gonna start dancing mid song, be like, oh, that was two dances or an, another dance. Yep, exactly. Uh, don't get blackout drunk at the strip club, especially yes. if you have a tab open. You will find out you spent a lot more than you remember spending, and it's because yeah. you didn't remember spending it. It's because the girls will sit with you, start putting drinks on your tab. Like it's it it, it yeah. will happen. Oh, I have they seen, do do that. I have they seen have it happen. Yeah. I've been at the strip club and watched a guy who was basically blackout drunk, wasn't even really talking, and the girl would like come and sit on his lap and be like, "Hey, baby," and like the waitress would come up and she would order them both a drink. Mm -hmm. Give me two, and he's like, "Uh huh," and like. Come, like, dude, I'm like, when he got home that night and next morning looked at his credit card statement, I was like, <laughs> this dude was not happy hey, with what happened, right? That's what like, happens. It is. Do you, would you buy a drink for a, uh, for a stripper? I don't know if there's like, I don't want a, a sex worker. Dancer, whatever. A dancer. Oh, yo, uh, ooh, I don't okay, know. I have, I, I'm very weary about that um, mm. because one, Drinks at the strip club are ridiculously overpriced. That part. Like I went to a I went to a club in Vegas one time with my buddy, and I made the mistake of not asking how much beers were. And I went up, I went up and I was like, "Can I get Can I get two beers?" They pulled them out, put them on the thing, crack crack the tops, and went forty. Stadium price. And I was like, forty dollars, and they're like, "Yeah, twenty a beer." And I was like, "Oh." Did you and, say and they were cracked open, dude. What was I gonna do? No, I'm not paying that. Yeah, so you can't you can't sit up here and just be like, "Up oh, here's your product price." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your product. but like, it, and it's ridiculous. It, I mean, and you're yeah, most most places, I even mean, like in Vegas, everything's crazy. But like, even even it's like spending ten, eleven dollars for like a shot on the rocks. That's not unheard of. Beer is usually eight bucks a piece at least. Yeah, like, like I said, that's like stadium prices. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but uh, and obviously big on inflation. Um, yeah, don't eat at the strip club. N no, I've seen some pe people say I've they seen got great people food. Eat at the strip clubs. I'm not gonna have some saucy barbecued fingertips at the strip club, Dude, licking my fingers and then touching on. Some flank. people will say that Ugh. they have buffets and they're really good, or they have really good oh steak or whatever. God, I. Even when I was a fatty and, eat, and ate all the time, I never ate food at the strip club. No, I'm not doing that. I'm you guys got some that. mozzarella sticks. Ah! <laughs> she comes up like, and you uh, lady in the tramp it with her. You bolt bite ah. in the middle and stretch it out. <laughs> I can't tell if it's mozzarella cheese or schmegma. Oh, that's gross. Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com. That's all the time we got for today. Uh, for Jonas. Today. Oh, yep. Yeah.